My name is Jack Wax and I'm right now from Richmond, Virginia. When I'm talking about my work, it's, it's difficult because uh, my interests are always changing. I have this belief that I'm not the same person I was last week as I am next week. In my past work, uh, I think I was dealing a lot with this issue, something I call the echo image. It's a way of determining where things are in outer space where you prove something is there even though you don't see it. That's one of the issues that I dealt with. The other issue is just this idea of balance and imbalance in the organism. I, I talk about, you know, uh, floating in the sea and how we maintain um, buoyancy against uh, all odds, I guess. This week, uh, here in the residency, I'm trying to explore this idea of something called the blivet which is a traditional um, graphic representation of an impossible object. Uh, but I'm not trying to make them specifically, I'm just dealing with that sort of suspension of a form inside of a skin. Um, they're also trying to be slightly referential to uh, the splitting of um, cells, uh, mitosis. So those are sort of the basic parameters of what I'm doing here this week. In the past, I've almost never used clear glass so this is a sort of a, a new thing for me where I, I'm really interested in form and texture, mostly in the fact that glass has a memory. It'll assume any surface and form. I'm not really interested in color. So really, I'm real, and I'm not interested in the slick, smooth, glassy surface. So most of my work is almost always uh, textured. And if it's not textured, it has, I guess, articulated form. Oh. And so I'm working with that, but instead of having the object be the surface that's available, I'm, I'm suspending them inside of these clear skins. So, I shipped out a couple dozen slinkies here uh, to the museum and we're blowing into them uh, so that they end up being my size. It's important that they're over five foot seven. And they're component parts which are greatly articulated surfaces which will be interwoven into one single form. So again, it refers to the same sort of mitosis and the splitting of the cell, but it, it should be the size of me. Um, so we're gonna do a lot of those this week too. Now this is my first time here at the museum and uh, I have to say it's a Fantastic experience. The team is uh, amazingly facile, uh, plus they have the best attitudes, and that's probably more important than their facility. Um, I normally work alone. It's strange in this day and age of people that work with glass, but I usually make thousands of component parts by myself, and then I assemble them. Uh, so this is a real opportunity to work with some highly skilled fabricators and just try some things that I couldn't do on my own.